Okay, good. So I will do I will do the proper theatrical entrance for you. Okay, so um, why I set up the lecture uh, today is uh, I just wanted to make sure that the writing that I sent you that it's that it's really super clear, yeah, that you don't have any doubts and that you can really follow with ease and you can follow clearly um, what's going on. And so actually, even after reading the score with the explanation that I give today that you can start to work and that there is no misunderstandings, no doubts but uh, yes, there will always be some things happening and occurring okay, good so um, the subject is traveling through all asanas, right? it's a... I would say it's a score that I Kind of I developed uh, over some years and it took this shape and it took this name and I think uh, just what I you can follow the reading like what I wrote in the first uh, paragraph that is the foundational score of the style and uh, that is destined to develop these basic layers yeah so with some of you also when I was talking I um, I explained that I, I need to build some kind of a good base layer that we can, um, anything else what we start to work on, that we can put actually on top of this uh, traveling through all asana score. Yeah, so that's why I said it's a kind of a basic building block and it just develops uh, different kind of abilities and different uh, skillfulness and uh, just all different properties that I will need uh, to, to build the work up on, okay? So uh, anyway, so the first paragraph is just the introduction and I just go into the that you will acquire a detailed body mapping. Yeah? So it's really something that through study of the form and through, through shaping of the form and um, considering the relationships, okay, like my, my head now towards me, it's here. Uh, so I start to feel, I start to feel these relationships. Yeah? So that's what I mean by detailed body mapping. That I know now that the lumbar spine is slightly curving, and now it's curving a little bit less. And now that the chest is open, or now the chest is kind of sinking in. Yeah. So that's what I mean by detailed body mapping and the kinesthetic awareness, and then understanding of corporal causalities. I just noticed that often if I do something, for example, if I lift my leg, my pelvis lifts with. Even if I did not think of it, I just thought of lifting my leg and suddenly I lift also my pelvis up, right? So that's this causality. I realized that if while moving through different forms, you can notice that I just wanted to go down and my chest was sinking this way. Yeah, so if I notice that, then I understand that this going down caused the chest going this way, then I can oppose it and I can be somewhere else. And that's how, that's how all, uh, many of the indications and many of the uh, specific details that I will give you, that's how they came, by observation of this causality, what causes what. Okay. And the proprioceptive sensitivity, so of course uh, that I start to feel that I start to feel where my body is in space, and even if even if I close my eyes, that I start to have better feeling of uh, of where I am in space. Yeah. So it's anyway. This will become clear as we go. And so the last sentence of this uh, chapter is um, very tangible and useful score. So that's super clear, no? To develop abilities, range of motion, certain potential of being here, being here, being able to sustain some place, being able to move through. Yeah? So to have just to just to have this ability, yeah, that my body can do it. Skillfulness that I know very precisely in action. 
um, what my knee should be doing, what my body should be doing, uh, to have some kind of rules and to some uh, for the craft to guide you. And the art of composition, of course, that I start to compose. So I compose deciding going down, and now I compose going with my body forward. Now I compose dropping my head, and now I compose. Whoosh. Voilà. So this is the art of composition. I just take different steps and place them in the connection to each other. Voila. Okay. Good. So let's go. Let's go through different turns. Let's go through different terms and uh, go step by step. Nice to see you all. <laughs> okay, so traveling through all asanas, traveling, right? <laughs> traveling means I just put two main points as two main instructions in movement and in stillness, right? So traveling means I'm moving through different places. I'm moving through different postures and then I stay in stillness, okay? So I have these two modes. I move through places and I stay still, okay? So, and the no is important because often when we do this core, because it is essentially moving, it is essentially the traveling score, yeah, we don't stop. It's hard to stop, so it's moving, 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 but the stops are actually, they can give you the time to, to compose, to think, to be more detailed, to feel, yeah, so anyway, the two modes, they have to be used and this is important. Good. Asana. I use the term asana to direct students' attention to the study of the form, yeah? So, what I mean by asana, and I mention it later, people often interpret this as, um, as yoga asanas. I don't mean yoga asanas, I mean all asanas. I just mean form, I just mean sculpture, yeah? And that's why I put this, these different names there, because some people, uh, or some day, will invite you to be more more sculpting, more expressive. Yeah, so here some kind of some kind of affect, some kind of emotion, some kind of feeling. It's uh, it's directing my choices. And another day I feel more abstract and I'm more I'm more composed, I feel the form, I feel the relationships. Yeah, so I, I compose more abstractly and some days with asana, yeah, uh, there is like nice, uh, nice point written at the beginning to be devotional, to be determined, yeah, because there is something about asanas that is so, uh, how shall I say, it's so codified, it's so holy, yeah, and I don't mean again yoga asanas, but I want to give this holiness to this. Yeah, that I know what every body part, every detail, what is doing and why is it doing it and what for is doing it and anyway, so to give this kind of importance to the form, even if it's any kind of form, yeah, it doesn't need to be codified form according to the conviction or certain, uh, mm -hmm. okay, good, all asked as well, let me just check the time. Okay, it's running quickly. Good. So, what I mean by all, yeah, it's important to touch all, and especially, uh, especially when I start to work with this uh, concept. So, when I do this ABC explanation later, this will be uh, clear to mention. So, all, it just represents the collection of all different situations and uh, areas or chapters, how I call it, the ones that I encountered and they make for me the huge diversity. So, chapter one, middle level, alias holy smoking thighs. 
Yeah, it's clear. It's kind of squats area. This will be explained later. Then we have a floor work, kind of normal floor work, but specific floor work, the levitation where on where the center is of the floor. Body center is off the floor, or the levitation where the body center is on the floor, but I'm still very light and hovering. Yeah, often we study the floor work where we want to give the body weight down to the floor. Yeah, like, but I like the floor work, the levitation floor work. So from center of the floor, center on the floor. And I stop. Stillness. Detail. Change of situation. Quite radical. Within the same area. That's the floor work. Being on one leg, super clear. Only one leg is touching the floor. <laughs> And so on. Uh, spine scores. All kinds of spine scores. This program. This program. Lovely chest bent. And so on. Yes, yeah, so just to treat the spine well. Another huge chapter. Study of yoga asanas. I put it there because I spent many years with uh, one of my teachers, Alexis Simon, and through the study of uh, it was Iyengar yoga, I learned so much detail, so much precision, so much craft that I did not encounter anywhere else. Yeah. So and it's a, it's an area of postures that is hard to encounter with another styles. They, they are just so specific, like. Yeah, whatever, how do you get there? Yeah, so it's just another kind of good chapter to, to inject into the all asanas. Okay, and then we have, oh, I'm getting into it, huh? <laughs> okay, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> getting excited. Good. So, inversions upside down, yeah? Again, something specific that if you don't do it, uh, it's hard to get there, yeah, so going up huh, huh, on the hands, tata, all kinds of tumbling situations and so on. So this is specific area and the affect expression through the form. This one I think is very specific to me and I mentioned especially the face. which is treated here and there in different approaches, but it's actually very not used generally in all kinds of movement approaches, yeah? But I really like it as a light face. Then hands as a very expressive element. And shoulder area, shoulder and head. Yeah, so here we have this sculpting. Yeah, so you get a picture. Yeah, so the combination of the face, hand, shoulder, head area, they really, really, poof, it really develops this uh, nice expressivity or kind of uh, artistic uh, human. <sighs> voila, you know what I want to say. Okay, good. And uh, I made myself just later on the hanging work. I did not put in the writing, but it's, it's something that me as a dancer, as a, like going through different uh, works, if you don't do hanging, you never encounter it. You cannot just move around. It's, it's a specific chapter, so I think it's nice to be added. Hanging, climbing, pulling, like in contact with some kind of external surface in that way. Yeah, because we climb on the floor, but the hanging work or okay good 
So middle level. So yeah, let's let's go let's go nicely into this middle level because this is an important uh, assignment and actually the first one. So middle level is the score that is working on the bent legs. So it's basically bent leg score through the action of bending and straightening the legs, right? They have to carry the body weight, so it's not this. It's a standing situation, yeah? That's why I said uh, demi plie, grand plie, or squats, and so on. Mm -hmm. Okay, here, here's some specificity that I need to Often when we work in the open form or improvisation or another composition, if we work on the bend legs, we spend a lot of time in this casual bend legs area. Yeah? Like I'm moving, but I'm here. So the middle level is specifically forcing you to use the full range, descending, and even more specifically to use the range from Quarter bend, what they call demi plie in ballet. Okay, so everything above, it's a bit less of interest. From quarter to half to three quarter. And then when we decide to full squat, for some people that's a specific work they need to do, but it's more of a resting place. And the middle level is very activating place. So especially work between quarter, three quarter and half. Yeah, I think that's clear, no? Okay, and so the important notes. In the composition of middle level, you have to use external, internal rotation of the hips. This will enlarge compositional possibilities. So, squat, this way, squat, open, squat, inward rotation. So, this in, in, internal, external rotation of the hips. Second, pay attention to how the foot is placed to the floor. It's just, yeah, is the outer edge of the foot touching, is the full surface, is the weight on the front part of the foot, on the back part of the foot, this, 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 so you have to pay attention how you place the foot. Often we go, we go in something like this, and maybe I'm touching only with this part, or only the outer part. So the sensitivity has to be developed there, yeah? so pay attention there. Be very sensitive and moderate with the external and internal knee rotation. Yeah? It's, a, it's a very mm, diverse way of moving, it's not a precise set of movements. Yeah? So don't push this range, internal, external. If you need to develop that range, do it more as a specific work, but in this flowing through middle level, be a bit more moderate. It's kind of a general simple rule. Yeah, just don't push that. Uh, okay, that can be maybe more specific questions about it when, when we talk to each other or something, yeah? Uh, all right. <laughs> Upper body. So in the middle level, it is essentially a leg score, this is the last note, but the spine, what the spine is doing, how the spine is behaving, it's of major importance. Yeah? So it is a leg score, but anyway, this we will treat well. Good. Sorry, I'm a bit, I'm a bit like rushing through i don't want to keep you too long we can do this again yeah but uh, all right so how to work on the traveling through all asana score i will model here a scenario of working of one hour yeah i will start with option a open flow through all asanas and what i mean through all i deliberately try to go through all Going backwards, going forward, going low, going high, going on one leg, going on close positions, going large places, going something that is really tiny and skinny. Yeah, to really, so the first session should be really to go through everything. 
like everything what my body can do, I try to do it. To maybe you call it to warm it up. Maybe I don't know whatever you call it, but you have to visit physically places. Yeah, on one leg, on two legs. So all from one, two, three, four, the main study chapters. I try to go through everything. Hanging upside down, spine work down, and I try to quickly throw from one place to another. So not so systematically that I have the ability to go from being backwards. Suddenly I can go, hey! Yeah, I go on to this levitation floor place. Okay? So that's the purpose of the first session and less than 20 minutes it does not make any sense. Yeah. Uh -huh. Good. So less than 20 minutes is too short. So 30 minutes of the session like this because you will see it will take you time to get in. Then B, we have to narrow the scope and work only on one chapter. And that's why I presented this middle level. Okay. That this will be the first thing to start with. Only middle level. All asanas within middle level. Internally rotated, externally rotated, on one leg on this, foot touching like this, foot touching like that, body here, body there, but everything of the squats. All the possible squats in the world you can imagine. Okay? Good. And then the last step could be 10-15 minutes only the C. You have to choreograph specific moves and work on them. Yeah, so I find one, I find this squat. And I try to reproduce it with every detail. Okay? And like this, slowly you will build the pool of moves. Yeah, so this is very tedious, repetitive, concrete work on the same moves. Over one year, I can develop many moves. You have to choreograph them. Okay? Good. So it is very important that you go through A, B, C, okay, and why am I, I don't know, maybe you hear me well, but I don't know. Okay, good. And start like this, as I suggested, try from all this zooming in, go to one chapter, and then go only to one specific move. The importance of choice making. This one is very important. Okay? Uh, besides all the steps and all the ideas and everything what you work on, actually what you are really working on as a first place is developing vocabulary, knowing how to compose, knowing how to make choices, and this will be, this will take time and this will, this is a huge part of work. Yeah? So, figuring out what to do, making choices, how to compose with what to do. Yeah? I compose this, then I compose that. Yeah? Uh, and then we can talk about pre-written composition or instant composition could be a topic of another lecture. But uh, you just have to embrace this, that this is a huge part of the study. You just have to learn how to compose well within the assignment. So the assignment should guide you clearly but you will be swimming in not knowing what to do very often and the first thing you have to do you will have to come up with what to do within the clear assignment it should be clear if it's not then i have to explain again i have to guide you better so this will be a lot of work will go there right but uh, it's un is necessary and for that uh, the last two points uh, basic help for the clarity of the work Stick to the clarity, not to the confusion. Often you have clear points in your work and you have questions. When you work, put the questions on the side. There is enough to work. You have clarity. Just stick to the clarity. Don't confuse your head. Ask me if, you, if there is a confusion, but work with the clarity. There is enough to work. Point one. Point two. Simple guideline. What is defined is defined. Middle level, it's a bent leg work, and then you ask me, but what the spine should do? It was not defined, therefore it's open. Should I breathe in or should I breathe out? Not defined, therefore it's open. 
But what the leg should be doing, working from quarter to middle to three quarter, that is defined that, that you cannot change. Yeah, so that's kind of like two, two, two very important. And the three, I like this approach. Enjoy your moves. Enjoy what you know how to do. Yeah, I, I think it's really nice. Of course, you will work on the things that you don't know, of course. But it's also part of it is just like enjoy what you know how to do. And that will slowly develop into not knowing. Yeah, so it's not not challenging always myself, not always. Yeah, the proportion is tricky, but it's important. How much do I do things that I love? How much do I think that they challenge me and I don't have a love relationship to them? And that's the art of composition. Okay? One day like this, one day like that. So that's part of it. And the last point, uh, the last point is that uh, lightness and ease. This is something that I care about from the beginning. Maybe, I don't know, I hope it's a good approach, but from the beginning you care about if you can descend, if you can lift your leg lightly and drop it down. It does not mean that you know how to do it. But from the start, you care about the quality, you care about the lightness, you care about the ease. Yeah, many people know how to do this. But the care for the quality, it's, it's heavy, it's too sticky. Okay, so uh, as I wrote, just battle with difficulties. But try to have this mind, I want to move easy, I want to move light, I want that it goes smooth.